Oh, now I gotta think about this. Because like, all right. <laughs> oh man, why was this? This is the one that stumps me. Would you rather live in New York City, but your house is clown themed, or live in your dream house in Jacksonville? You know, I'm a diehard New Yorker. I think I'd rather, I'd rather just stick it out with a clown house. I feel like also in New York, you know, we like our apartments enough, but you really, you get out of it. You know, you like, you go and meet people elsewhere. It's not, at least for me, it's not a culture where we all just like gather up in, in people's houses and stuff. So I won't have to show anyone else those clowns. I do love clowns. <laughs> Would you rather never be able to curse again or have to end every sentence with Poe Body's Nerfect? I need my curse words. I need them. I love them deeply. And I think that ending every sentence with Poe Body's Nerfect would only make the swearing stand out in stark relief in a way that's just like, that's a no brainer for me. Get the fork out. Get stuck in an elevator with Derek or get stuck in an elevator with neutral Janet. Huh, uh, I think I would rather be stuck in an elevator with uh, with neutral Janet. I think that Derek would not shut the hell up. I need people to shut the hell up. I think she would probably end her words. End of conversation. Would you rather spend a month in Disco Janet's void or accidentally erase Justify from the judge's VR? Oh, easy. I'd, I'd totally spend a, a month in Disco Janet's void. It's just hedonism, you know, and roller skates. And, you know, I don't want to cross the judge. I'll tell you what you're doing. You are tearing up the dance floor. Would you rather watch 10 more Pirates of the Caribbean sequels or work at the register at the gift shop in hell? I would 100% watch more uh, Pirates of the Caribbean sequels. I worked retail. Retail sucks. It's not fun. I don't want to do that. This is hell. Of course it's a gift shop. Would you rather have a flying puppy or eat a ring pop that lets you fully understand the meaning of Twin Peaks. I would rather have a flying puppy. I feel like the magic of, of Twin Peaks is that you just don't get some of it and you think about it later and you think that you got it and you really don't. Yeah, flying puppy. Although, I don't know. I mean, like I have a little dog and, and he's a scrappy, neurotic little dude. And I imagine, like my little guy like skitters all over the place. Uh, he gets very frightened of, uh, cats and small animals, so like he just doesn't understand them and, and plastic bags. The advantage I have is that he's he's little and he's on the ground. But if he saw a plastic bag and then like flew away, that would be awful. One of my favorite movies was Never Ending Story. And like Falcor was this flying dog dragon, a luck dragon. He was so friendly and I was very comforted by him as a kid. As I got older, he was a little creepier, but like when I was a kid, I was like, I like that dragon. I, I like that, that flying dog. He's a friend. Yeah. No, I think I'd, I think I'd still rather have the flying puppy in memory of Falcor. You're almost there, just a little further. Would you rather do karaoke with a lava monster or join Jason's dance team? Well, I feel like joining Jason's dance team would commit me to a life of crime. You know, I'd much rather, you know, sing Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves by Cher with a lava monster than, than hang out with Jason's dance team. Remember that thing I said about no more crime? That's over now. Go do crime. Would you rather be tortured by a chainsaw bear or by bees with teeth? Oh, man. I get irrationally afraid of stinging insects. Like how, how bad can the, the, the bee bites be? If they actually, you know, got you with the teeth? because they usually get you with a stinger anyway. I don't know, it feels like you have more of a chance with a chainsaw bear than you do with a, a tooth bee. I think I'm gonna go with chainsaw bear. That sounds so stupid. Like bees with teeth are obviously the answer. I just had a thing about bees and I just, I don't know. Bees, 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 bees. Would you rather uh, be jacked and have no one ever know it or be jacked and have that be the only thing people knew about you? Jacked and no one know it. I hate taking my shirt off in public. I imagine my personality is the same. I mean, I guess maybe your personality could change if you were jacked and that's what everyone, what everyone knew about you, but like being jacked takes work and I, I'm not up for that work. I'd rather just like be jacked and have nobody know it and have nobody, had, you know, no one expects anything rather than uh, be jacked and then like be required to like, you know, take my shirt off for like weddings and bar mitzvahs and stuff. I and mean, I don't want to be that guy. Hello. Sir, you uh, can't show people that a shirt. 